How's it going guys? You're watching Rowdy XOC and today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing and overview of the Noctua NF-A20 Big Boy Fan. So if you watched my previous video on the MORA3420 Pro Radiator, you'll know I mentioned that you could fit either 9 140mm fans or 4 200mm fans. I've decided to opt for the 200mm option purely on the basis of noise as 9 140s going at a decent rate is generates quite a bit of noise um, and obviously it make it very difficult to make videos with that going on in the background especially when it comes around to editing them so i've gone with the 200 mil as obviously a bigger fan it can run at far lower rpm and generate very similar results and also on these radiators to be honest with you you don't need a massive amount of airflow um, as the, they perform so well anyway you just need something that's going to gently kick out the heat and the radiator will do its thing so let's get into the box um true not true fashion very well packaged um, and the fan itself as you can see is very nice quality if you've bought cheap fans in the past uh, these are a huge step up they don't really do a cheap option so every single fan in the Noctua series has always been good and their name literally carries quality so I knew I wasn't going to go wrong with this um, we'll pull the fan out of the packaging so the PWM connector is 4 pin it comes with an extension so you can literally pull that off and then depending on how you sort of wired up your system you can run something else to there if you need the extension it comes with that which is nice and handy um, the fan itself let's have a good look around it you can see just a really really nice looking fan uh, we'll go through specs and that in a moment but one nice little touch that they've done on this one is it's come with various different colour dampeners. So you can pretty much tailor this to suit most colour schemes in your build. Obviously they're very basic colours, it would have been cool some more quirky ones or if you could purchase them separately that would be awesome. Um, but the basics are down so you can pretty much make these work in, in most builds. Obviously this isn't the sort of thing that you would have in a typical build as you wouldn't have a radiator large enough for it this would typically be at the front of the case or maybe at the back just either pulling in air or exhausting it um not common one for a radiator unless you've got obviously the large series i think alpha core do quite a lot of the big ones now and obviously uh, mora free series um you can it's only the 420 you can fit the 200s on but that's the only real need you'd have for this one so Getting in, package a little bit further. In here, you've literally just got your screws. So it comes with fixing screws like most fans do. And then obviously you've got the rest of the dampeners in there. So let's just go for a couple of the specs. I will just read it off the back of the packet as my memory is not that great. So dimensions of the fan is 200 by 200 by 30 millimeters. The uh, connector is a four pin PWM connector with the extension. Um, the bearing is an SS02. The RPM achievable on this is up to 800 plus minus 10% as always. Um, airflow is 146.9 cubic meters per hour. The decibel is 18.1, um, which is really good for that one. Uh, static pressure, 1.08 mil, uh, which is not too bad. And the general lifespan of this is around 150,000 hours. So obviously, huge lifespan out of this and that is mostly down to the fact that it's uh, running at quite a low RPM all the time so you know you'd expect to get a bit more life out of it um, and even at sort of 800 RPM that's still very generous for a fan this size and should be able to achieve most applications that you want it for um, obviously if this is not enough you know if you run in a really thick radiator one that will actually take this then you know even on even on the uh, sort of RA3 radiators it might be worth looking at alternative op alternative options like the 140s if you need huge amounts of static pressure but generally speaking i think this will be fine obviously i will do a bit more coverage on the performance once i've bolted it to the radiator and i can see how it actually performs i've never gone down this route before so this is quite new to me as well um, and like i said the only motive behind it is the noise but depending on the results that i get this might be the way to go um, moving forward but uh, yeah i'll definitely do some more coverage on that as we get down the line obviously with this rad, I'm going to be bolting on uh, res and pump. This is going to come in another video. Um, res and pump, and then I'll be wall mounted with quick disconnects so I can use up freely between the test bench and anything that I need to show here. It's just a case of plug and play. So make life very easy. What I will do is I'm going to set this up so I can plug it in. 
to a power source just so you can hear the noise that this will give out. Um, it will be on full chat because I don't have a fan controller that I can use on this right now. Um, but uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised just how quiet this is. So we'll uh, get that set up and come straight back. Okay, so I've set up four fans, each with different uh, colour dampeners, just to give you an idea on how they look. They slip on really nice and easy, so if you ever change your colour scheme for whatever reason, it, this is a bit the last of your worries to change, so really adaptive setup. Um, now, the reason I've got four set up specifically is to show you one, it doesn't really tell you how they would sound in a real world situation if you're buying them for the RA3. So to hear four together gives you a much better idea of how it will sound real world. I'm hoping the camera will pick it up. It should do, um, but uh, it should pick up the noise, but we'll find out. So we'll start with one fan. We'll work our way through to four. So this is one. So that's one fan, and that is pretty much as close to silent as you can get. Yep, um, that sounds really good. This is two. And this is three. And that's four. What I will say is standing behind them, they are shifting a lot of air. For the noise that they're producing and the RPMs that they're at, they are pushing a lot of air. So obviously with it being a bigger fan, it really does pull. Um, but I'm really excited about this now, to be honest with you, because I was, I was a bit concerned that it wasn't going to be quite enough pressure. As at home, I'm used to using uh, the EK Bard R3000 RPM fans, the 120s. Um, but the thing is, when you turn that thing up to full chat, that literally sounds like a Boeing 747 taking off in your room. So this is a really nice change, but this is going to be more than enough. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't really have a lot of worries there. Like I said, I will cover more in depthly the performance, you know, specifically to the radiator. But I'm really impressed with these at the moment. So yeah. Not a lot more to say, you know, a fan is a fan. It does the job well, it pushes air around. Can't complain, uh, and Noctua, they will Noctua. I don't, I always feel like I'm butchering the name. Let's just say Noctua, Nocta, whatever it is. Um, they really do know how to make their fans well. So very excited to get these installed. If there's anything I've missed that you wanna know, obviously drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and uh, yeah. Apart from that, next step is obviously get them installed into the radiator, which I will be doing in another video. So once again, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you see and you want a bit more from it, obviously subscribe, turn on your notifications and like the video. That really does help a lot. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much.